Welcome back everyone, Robles Jr. here, and today we're looking at the Signage Mod application for the PSP. A very cool app, and I believe every PSP user or enthusiast should have this application on their console and add it to your collection of homebrew. And if you're not familiar with Signage Mod, it's basically a custom ROM that was built for the Android OS, and it gave you a lot more options in your settings. It gave you a lot of different shortcuts, and just a overall better experience on your Android phone and in the past it was really difficult to install this custom ROM it was just very painful but luckily for PSP users it's very simple and we'll go through those steps here shortly we'll take a closer look at the application after we install the files and I'll show you some of the things that don't work and what to avoid so it doesn't crash on you you can also have this application start up right away when you boot up your PSP for the first time after you install the uh, plugins for it so it's pretty cool but uh, I suggest not doing that because I will be showing you uh, the reasons why so let's get started with installing this app onto your console let's begin on installing this to your console let's go to the USB connection here and connect our PSP to our desktop PSP is connected to my desktop here it is USB drive F and first link in the description will take you to archive.org the signage PSP and here on the right side you'll see the download options and what you want to do is click on the zip here with the drop down of five files and depending on your version of custom firmware you would have to choose either this one, the version 6.1.me, or 6.1.pro, or the signage PSP zip here. I use the version 6.1.pro because I have Pro C installed, so uh, this one worked out great for me. I tried this one, but I was getting a an error every time I started the application up. So just click on that, and it will begin downloading. There it is and let's right click and extract those files and if you don't have 7-zip installed I'll have that link in the description we can't just copy this extractive folder into our PSP yet we have to open this up open it one more time and now we have the correct folder we should copy over and if you open this up you'll have seven different items in here three folders to text and one eboot.pbp and the prx file right yeah prx so let's go back and we're going to copy this file or I'm sorry this folder let's open up our PSP and let's go into game there it is since I have a plugin that categorizes all of my homebrew I'll be throwing this into the apps folder but if you don't have that plugin, all you have to do is just copy it over to your game uh, folder and you're all set. So let's copy this and let's paste. You can either do that or just drag it into here. It's the same thing. And that's basically it. It's very, very simple. All right, here is the apps folder. And there is signage PSP version 6.1. And let's start this baby up. There is the Android or signage mod logo. Pretty cool. So it's uh, loading up right now. When you first start the application, it will request you to choose a language. And after that, you're going to have to unlock your screen. And the way you move the cursor is with your analog stick and you have to press X and you have to move your analog up to open or unlock the screen so here are our options at the bottom we have four apps on the dock we have the time and date with the uh, I'm not sure if this is weather or just the time that's reflecting what's going on here with the moon and the clouds 
and at the top we have our percentage of battery and the time as well so um, don't click on the browser because this will crash your PSP I noticed a few things that will crash your PSP and I'll talk about that here as we move on but yeah the browser it did work for me at the beginning but now as I'm trying to record or doing some more tests before I start recording uh, it just kept crashing my console which basically freezes your whole PSP and then it just powers it all down and you have to just restart everything uh, the messages doesn't work at all uh, I click on that and nothing and when I click on the music icon it will take you to your music folder and as you click back it will open up these uh, different applications so pressing circle will take you back to wherever you were going there or back from whichever you were coming from so clicking on this will bring up all these applications the calculator doesn't work uh, messages don't work the UMD does work the clock works and you can do like a stop time or stopwatch things like that pretty cool uh, let's go into the manager folder and this will take you to all the folders that's on your memory stick one thing to note while your manager is to avoid pressing square for some reason it always crashes my PSP so that's another bug there uh, going to gallery will take you to your albums and your different photo uh, folders <laughs> going into game will bring up your ISOs here's all of my different PSP ISOs and into our settings very interesting so we have the Wi-Fi settings and this little button up here where the Wi-Fi is at for some reason doesn't work and anytime I do that it just says error and using this button will take you back to the main settings for security we can have a password lock or a pin lock for our screen and we can input any type of uh, code or whatever we would like to do for the lock on our screen so let's test that out I'll do a pin lock and we'll just do actually that's too long let's go for something a lot shorter I'll do four 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 there we go so now what we want to do is lock our screen let's go back home and we can actually pull down the top notifications uh, bar or whatever you want to call it at the top and how you do that is you go to the top with your cursor you hold the X button and you use your analog to go down and there it is and the brightness does work on here um, as you turn it up though to the maximum it will go the um, the little gear will go all the way up and if you press it one more time it won't do anything the second time though will take you down it doesn't make any sense it's kind of weird I pressed it one more time nothing and finally the max uh, brightness is now up here so very interesting uh, let's lock the screen and now let's unlock and now we have to input our pin so let's go for whoops for for oh, I'm sorry I keep messing it up oh, missing it again there it is one more time press start and there it is we should be in perfect let's go back to our settings and display we can have different themes let's see the style we have default here under wallpaper we can change our background and let's choose glass bearings by pressing X and pressing X again will set this wallpaper so press X to accept or circle to cancel and let's go back home to confirm that 
And yes, it did change. Very good. Back to settings under display. And let's go under themes. And we can have different fonts. Font style. We only have Roboto. And font size. We can go large. Very good. And icon packs. You can have different ones if you like, and you can download them online. Uh, let's go back here. If you chose a different language, you can go under this and and uh, adjust that. I did change Brazilian, so or it was Dutch, and I had a hard time trying to find this uh, setting, and luckily I managed to fix that. Let's go down to miscellaneous, and we can toggle the day and night widget, which I believe is that uh, moon and clouds that was going on there so let's disable that and confirm let's go back and it's no longer there so a very cool application and so much you can do here in this little guy I think it's very fascinating that um, it wasn't fully developed I felt like this could have been something amazing like a whole new user interface for the PSP it's been amazing uh, let's enable that and the boot animation is the little blue guy that was showing up when we started first started the application so you can disable that and you can probably disable this and have this boot up a lot faster I haven't tested that but I'm sure uh, if doing something like that would help getting into the application a lot faster toggle game boot we'll we'll take a look at that here in just a second let's go back and here we can have performances this is a very interesting settings uh, you can overclock your CPU I wouldn't mess with this um, I pressed R and it just it says increases frequency and it, it just messed up everything so I try to avoid this as much as I can if you want to overclock your PSP, I suggest going back to the XMB, pressing select, and doing it from there. You don't want to try to do that somewhere else because that might screw up your console. Going to battery management, we can do power save, balance, or performance. Um, I can't say that this would work. Um, I haven't really tested this out as much, and I highly doubt that this would make a huge difference you know I think it's just like by trickle trickles of uh, saving your battery but I guess whatever you want to do to save your battery you can test these different options out but I'm not too worried about it because the battery on the PSP is you know it's not that great overall so uh, let's go to developer options here we can toggle experimental features I haven't really messed with this yet and we have a dark theme. We can change that back to light. Oh, it's hurting my eyes. Let's go back to about. And here we can click for view or install available updates. Here is the version 6.1 in 2016. Very nice. We can't check for updates because we're not connected to the internet. So that's not going to work out for me there. Let's go ahead and finalize this video by checking out how a game starts. So going to game, let's go to ISO and I'll just start Dante's Inferno, one of my favorites. So there is the boot animation when you go into a game. It's kind of simple. So yeah, it looks like it's working just fine. It went straight to the game no problem and pressing home let's see if we can quit the game and go back to signage mod I believe it won't work that way we'll see this might freeze my PSP because it's still seeing please wait on my screen so um, that's that's a problem and there you have it signage mod for the PSP if you guys have any questions comment down below and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.